Good evening, I'm Max Fabigan. This is The Interview. Tonight, we have with us Nino Levet. Thank you, Nino, for coming. You know what time it is. It's time for The Interview with Max Fabigan. This time, a very world-famous artist here with us, Nina Levet. It's time for The Interview with Max Fabigan and Nina Levet. Nina, how would you like to die? And please don't say in your sleep, because that's boring. Oh, that's difficult. Um, how I like to die? Um, in a pink Cadillac. In a pink Cadillac? What, what year? Like 67 Cadillac? Your parents say they were kind of Madonna purists? My, my parents said everything else is bullshit and just listen to that. Well, um. That is a very interesting take on education. But let me tell you, you have the better looking hair. That's for sure. What do you do for your hair? No longer. Do, do, do you, uh, have, did you put a magic I, spell on it? I don't like dreadlocks so much. So, oh, um, who does I nowadays? I like the hairdresser as well. In, in that way, it, it grows long. Dreadlocks are so 1990s. <laughs> which, which side do you prefer to drive on? <laughs> right side. Right side, yeah, of course. The other side is the wrong side. That's just how it is, right? Mozart, maybe? Mozart. Yeah. Would you like to go for a coffee with him, if it would be possible? So he's dead now? Yeah, he's been for oh, okay. at least 200 years. Ah, okay, I didn't know that. Falco Thank is you. not Mozart. There is a, they're not, ah, okay, sorry. They're not no, one of the same. Falco. I meant Falco. As you meant Falco. But he's dead too. But don't you think that people see you as an incredible, astonishing, mind-numbing sex object? I'm still hoping that I'm getting the next Mother Mary. So maybe this will happen too and I don't even have to get uh, like uh, somebody to give me well, children. Okay. But it's God himself. That would be like the perfect thing well, for me. It's been over 2,000 years, so if it's anybody... Yeah, if it's anybody, then I think I, it I, should be me. I'm I still a virgin, I'm still waiting for a child. I think God has you on his list right there, top 10 at least. So art is a necessity for you, not a luxury. You've quite turned out to be a world star within the last few years. Hell what? I, yeah. How I really? I hope it didn't go past you because you're in all the magazines. No, you're exaggerating. Oh, come on. Let me tell you, I'm... Do you have that for me? You have something colorful. Well, that's some... I heard that that's your favorite drink. Oh. Uh, it's Aperol with Prosecco and oh. orange juice. You are so naughty. I can't believe you say something like that. How oh, come... oh, come on. There is a... Come on. An artist. It's like a good job, you know? Oh. Enlighten me. Enlighten me, please. Oh. This is your chance to go on an educational oh, crusade. the world. It's not about me having sex and then coming, sitting in front of my... Uh, I'm sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Sex is not about coming? <laughs> Did I get... Um, yeah, I have no. very selective hearing. This is, this is my problem with Western culture. Get... learn something, you know? Tao. The love of Tao. I just say this. How much Tao can you have in one day? Well then, please, do me the favor and show me a little more Tao on your plates instead of all those monotonous blowjobs. And your husband, is he a source of inspiration for you? Does he help you in creating art? Um, I don't have a husband. Okay, so... Uh, no. People backstage gave me slightly the wrong intel here. Uh, are you planning on ever getting married? Uh, is it going to be a Catholic wedding? Are you Catholic? Yes. Why do you draw a bunch of penises on a plate? What's that about? Does it turn you on to make art? Because I think the main effect of your art is if you have a living room full of your furniture, people just want to have sex all the time. Mm. So does making your art turn you on? I don't, I don't want to go too much into detail this time. We're still in prime time. Children are watching. So you're actually pro-cigarettes in the 21st century. Yes, I live in Beijing now, so you can smoke there everywhere. That is so artsy, that's <laughs> incredible. So your nicotine consumption completely kills off your hunger, I take yes. it, right? Well, seeing the twitching on your hands, I think it's time for a smoke break. Mm -hmm. So we'll be right back with Nina Levet. Thank you so much for the first part of the interview. Well, Nina, welcome back. Now we've covered a lot on your art, but let's cover a little bit about your personal lifestyle, such as Facebook. How often are you on Facebook each day? You actually, you socialize with people still? In the 21st century, you could be an idol for us all. But you do draw inspiration from your own experience or from stories you hear? Where does the inspiration come from for um, your pictures? It, it comes from inside. 
Do you think that less is more at certain times? Mm, I think more is more. More is more and less yeah. is less? <laughs> Are you a very mathematical person? No, not at all. Last question, Lena. Do you have more sex on your plates or in real life? It's equal. It's equal? Wow. Well, then I don't want to hold you up any longer. You yeah. probably have things to do. <laughs> so thank you very much for this time. Is the Cadillac going to have hydraulics as well? Like, are you going to bounce into death? Or? I, I just, I really think that that's an awesome idea. Like, is it going to be a funeral in the Cadillac as well? Yes. I'm looking forward to your next collection. Up until then, that was the interview with Max Fabigan and Nina Levet. Thank you for coming here. Thank you. See you next time.